years has Amanda Serrano toiled for this opportunity, fighting in far-flung locations, fighting in small ballrooms, all to get here for the chance to put her stamp on women's boxing. I think that Amanda is going to be on fire tonight. The crowd, it's a very emotional thing when you walk out and you hear your song and the thing that jazzes you up. You hear your, your country's music coming out and the crowd is singing with you. And then, as you saw, she focused back in and continued her walk down. And you can tell, Jessica, watching fighters sometimes when they're a little bit overwhelmed by the moment, at no point since Amanda Serrano walked into this building has she looked overwhelmed by the moment. Tonight, at the weigh-in press conferences, she's been nothing but 100% confident. She doesn't date, doesn't drink, doesn't party, doesn't even own a cell phone. She is married to the sport of boxing. I think that's what you call sacrifice in its true form. She changed her name, she wore a headgear, she told everyone she was a boy, and she joined the amateur ranks fighting boys. Finally, she single-handedly made boxing legal in Ireland, and arguably, Chris, she has become the greatest athlete, regardless of sport, regardless of sex, that Ireland has ever produced. There are trailblazers in boxing, many of them in this building tonight. Katie Taylor is arguably the most influential woman in boxing history.
becomes the first female boxing judge in Ireland, and she says I'm carrying her pioneer spirit to the ring tonight, Jessica, a chance to make history. I feel like sometimes as a boxer, you really have to carry as many people as you can with you into the dream, into the future, into the legacy. She's bringing her mom in here with her. Jessica, what do you make of this methodical ring walk? I mean, Amanda Serrano didn't rush to the ring, but this is one of the slower ring walks that I've seen. Is there any kind of method to the madness? Sometimes, there, like sometimes there is. There's, there's making your opponent wait, especially if you know you're going to come out last. Sometimes it's making a spectacle, spectacle of the moment, which is making it more special for the crowd. It's okay to stop and smell the roses every once in a while. Francisco Paco Macarcel. 